Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be discussing about polyatomic ions. Now, it is known to us that there are ions which are made up of only single atoms, like these ions. This is a magnesium ion, an aluminium ion, an oxide ion and a nitride ion. And as we can see that these are made up of only one atom of a particular element. Now, these ions are generally formed when an atom gains electron or loses electron. Now, when an atom loses electron, it becomes positively charged. And we call these positively charged ions as cations. And when an atom gains electrons, it becomes negatively charged. And we call these negatively charged ions as anions. Now, these ions are made up of only one atom of an element and therefore we call them as monoatomic ions and here the word mono stands for one atom and thus it is called a monoatomic ions since it is made up of only one atom of a particular element. Now these ions are very stable structures which means that they have all their shells filled and what they did to fill their shells is either gaining electrons or losing electrons. So we can say that either by gaining electrons or losing electrons they made their shells fully filled and thus they are called as stable structures and by gaining or losing electrons they get electrically charged either positively or negatively. Now this kind of stable structures can also be formed when uh, many atoms come together and when these atoms come together they form a club or a single unit and when this unit or a club of atoms has a charge it is called as a polyatomic ions. Now since these, um, this structure is made up of more than one atom it is called polyatomic ions. Now here this word poly stands for more than one or many atoms. Now let us see a water molecule. Now this is a water molecule and when it breaks down it forms two ions. One is positive and the other one is negative. Now the positive ion that it forms is a hydrogen ion which is made up of only one atom of hydrogen and since it has lost one electron it has become positively charged. So we can call it as a hydrogen ion that is H plus. Now the second thing that has come when this water molecule gets displaced is this stuff over here. Now this uh, is, a, is another ion which is a negative ion. Now we can clearly see that this ion is not made up of only one atom but it is made up of two atoms. One atom of hydrogen and the second atom is of oxygen. So it is named as a hydroxide ion that is uh, denoted as OH and a minus as a superscript. Now this ion is negatively charged since it has gained the electron that has been lost by this hydrogen atom and thus it has become negatively charged with one minus. Now let us have a closer look at this hydroxide ion. Now as I said this hydroxide ion is composed of two atoms that is one of oxygen and the other one of hydrogen. Now let us calculate the total number of electrons in these two atoms in their valence shells. Now as we can see there are six electrons in the valence shell of oxygen atom and there is only one electron in the valence shell of hydrogen atoms. So they add up to give it uh, seven electrons and thus we can say that there are seven protons since these two atoms are neutral now. And when they come together and gain one electron to form a hydroxide ion like this, their electron number uh, becomes 8 electrons since it has gained one more electron. Now this one extra electron gives this structure one charge that is one negative charge because it is an extra electron. Now since it is uh, a negatively charged ion, it is called an anion. Or we can call it as a hydroxide anion. Now let us look at some more such polyatomic ions which are composed of more than two atoms. Now this 
is called a sulfate ion which we can see is made up of one sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms. Now this whole club of five atoms has a charge of minus two on it. Now we can see that it is represented by SO4 2 minus which, uh, which says that there is one sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms with a charge of minus two. Now as I said it is composed of sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms. Now let us do the same calculation as we did for hydroxide ion. Now we see that sulfur atom has six outermost electrons and an oxygen atom also has six outermost electrons. So the total number of valence electrons that are there in one sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms is given by this. There are six electrons in the outermost shell of sulfur and there are four oxygen atoms with six electrons each in their valence shells. So we can uh, calculate the total number of valence shells as 6 multiplied by 4. Now this total uh, equation gives us a result as 30. So we can say that there are totally 30 electrons in the valence shells of 1 sulfur and 4 oxygen atoms. Now this essentially would mean that there are 30 more protons to nullify it. Now when these 5 atoms come together and become a club and they form an ion by gaining two more electrons, their electron number increases by two and thus it becomes 32 electrons in total. Now there are only 30 protons but there are 32 electrons and this two extra electrons give this group of atoms a total charge of minus two and thus it is called an anion which is a sulfate anion. Now let us look at a similar uh, polyatomic ion uh, which is similar to this sulfate ion even the name is similar that is sulfide ion. You have to notice the names uh, that are similar that is the previous one was sulfate ion and this one is sulfide ion. It was uh, PHATE and this one is PHITE. Now what is the difference between these two ions? Uh, the ion that we saw before had four atoms of oxygen and one atom of sulfur. But this ion over here has one atom of sulfur but it has only three atoms of oxygen. Now this whole group of atoms, four atoms, have a charge of minus two on them. Now let us calculate the same thing for this ion also. Now we see that it has a sulfur atom and three oxygen atoms. So the total number of valence electrons in these atoms, four atoms, becomes six which is of sulfur and there are since three uh, oxygen atoms are there, we can multiply six electrons into three that is we get the total number of electrons in both uh, the categories of atoms as 24 electrons. Now these 24 electrons are nullified by 24 protons that they have. Now when they come together and form a club and uh, they become an ion by gaining two electrons, we see that there are two more extra electrons and the electron number shifts from 24 to 26. Now uh, in the similar manner, these two extra electrons give this group of atoms a charge of minus two. So this negatively charged group of atoms or a polyatomic ion is called a sulfide anion since it is negatively charged with two negative charges. Now let us see some more polyatomic ions of such kind. Now this is a polyatomic ion which is called a carbonate ion. As we can see that there is one atom of carbon and there are three atoms of oxygen and this whole club of four atoms has two negative charges in it. Now we can see that it is represented by CO subscript 3 superscript 2 minus. Now this 3 represents the total number of oxygen atoms and this 2 minus represents the total charge on this club of atoms. Now as I said it is composed of a carbon atom and 3 oxygen atoms. 
Now let's calculate the total number of valence electrons in all these four atoms. Now the number of valence electrons in a carbon atom is 4. From here we can see. And as we have already seen that the valence electrons in an oxygen atom is 6 in number. So since there are uh, 3 oxygen atoms, we multiply this 6 by 3 and we add the 4 valence electrons in carbon which yields us the total number of valence electrons as 22 electrons. And since there are 22 electrons, there must be 22 protons to nullify it. And when these individual 4 atoms come together to form a polyatomic ion by gaining 2 electrons, there must be an increase in the electron number and thus it shifts from 22 electrons to 24 electrons. Now these two extra electrons give this structure a charge of minus 2 and hence it becomes a negatively charged ion which we call as an anion. Now a similar kind of polyatomic ion is formed when this carbonate ion uh, merges with a hydrogen atom. Now this structure is pretty similar to the previous one that we saw but there is an extra hydrogen atom here which neutralizes one negative charge that it had and thus it has only one negative charge over here. So this structure which has five atoms is called a hydrogen carbonate ion and it is denoted as HCO3 minus. Now this is composed of three kinds of atoms as I said. The first one is a hydrogen atom, second is a carbon atom and there are three oxygen atoms. Now let us calculate the total number of valence electrons in this case. So it becomes uh, 4 from carbon. Hydrogen atom has only 1 valence electrons and this oxygen atom, atom has 6 valence electrons and there are 3 in total. So it becomes 6 multiplied by 3 which yields us an answer of 23 electrons. Now when this whole group of 5 atoms come together and form a polyatomic ion, it has to gain one electron. And this one electron gives it a charge of minus one. And since it is uh, having a negative charge, it is called a hydrogen carbonate anion. Now let us look at a positively charged polyatomic ion. Till now we are been looking at ions which are negatively charged. Now we will see a positively charged polyatomic ion. Now ammonium ion looks something like this. It has one nitrogen atom and four hydrogen atoms. Now it is denoted as NH4+. Now NH4 symbolizes that there is one nitrogen atom and four hydrogen atoms. And this plus charge over here shows the total amount of charge that this whole structure has. Now as we did before, we will calculate the number of electrons in the valence shells of this whole structure of atoms. Now, there are 5 valence electrons in nitrogen atom and there is only 1 valence electron in a hydrogen atom. And hydrogen atoms are 4 in number here. So, we will just add up the total number of valence electrons in uh, all these 5 atoms. That is 5 from, uh, for nitrogen and 1 for hydrogen and 4 for the number of hydrogen atoms over here. So the total number of valence electrons becomes 9 electrons and since it has 9 electrons it, there must be 9 more protons to nullify it. And similarly when these 5 atoms come together to form an ammonium ion they, gain, they lose an electron and this makes them positively charged. And so we can say that this positively charged ion is called ammonium cation since it is positively charged. So this was all about some of the polyatomic ions that we generally use in our chemistry lessons. So here is all about this video. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.